Hey guys, this is Coated Steel, and I'm coming at you with a little bit of something different today than I usually do. I'm going to show you guys a project that I have uh, just finished recently. Um, it is this application, and it is actually this black box that you're seeing on the wall over here. So ignore all the wires hanging out of it. That's just kind of something I had to improvise at the moment to make everything work. So what is this black box is probably what you're asking. Well, if you look at the size of the hole, you could probably see this is maybe where a light switch used to be. So this is going to double as, well, not double, actually. It's going to act as my light switch for my bedroom. So right now, I kind of have the ceiling fan running. So there we go. Let's open this up. Open the application back up here. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, stupid thing. All right. I don't know what happened. My application closed there for a second. There we go. Okay. So right now I have my ceiling fan running. Okay. The way I did turn it on, obviously, was via this Bluetooth switch. So let me kind of show you what happens here. First of all, when you first log into the app, you have username, password info. I already created my own account on this. You can only have one active account. I just did it this way so, like, uh, for somebody who maybe doesn't want their kid logging into their app and messing with their light switch and turning it on and off 30 times or something like that or turning the fan on and off 30 times, you know, you have that ability to prevent that from happening. So when you log in, it's going to ask you for your MAC address. MAC address is basically, think of it just like an IP address. It's, it's something you use to connect. Just like an IP address is something you use to connect to a router and then in turn connect to the internet. Um, a MAC address is something a device needs in order to be able to find another device. So in this case, there's a Bluetooth module in here. If I don't have the MAC address for that module, this Bluetooth module in here is broadcasting its MAC address. Well, and actually it's broadcasting a, a signal, a connection signal saying, you know, connect to me, blah, blah, blah. When you type in the MAC address and you say connect, your Bluetooth device is going to send out a signal or is going to actually not send a signal. It's going to go into a receiving type mode and it's going to look for this MAC address. And as soon as it finds it, and then they basically pin each other, as soon as they find each other, they're going to connect. So enough of the technical side of things about talking about what a MAC address does. Uh, let's actually hit the connect button on here. And now they're going to, this is going to look for what this thing is broadcasting. And we actually failed to connect there. That happens sometimes, so I just have to hit the connect button in the upper right hand corner. Sometimes this can take a little bit to connect. I don't know exactly what causes this. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's try this again. There we go, finally we're connected. So you guys might have seen that before, by default, both these switches were, were set off. When I connected, the, uh, this actually sends out a signal to the Bluetooth device, which actually ultimately has a uh, microcontroller, an ATtiny85, yeah, ATtiny85 inside of that. So it sends a Bluetooth signal out, and uh, what it'll do is, once it sends that signal out, this thing will send a signal back saying the light status and the fan status. So whatever the light status and the fan status is currently, the fan status, as you can see, it's on, so it switched the button to on, and the light status is off. So let me kind of show you guys how this app works. If I hit the off button here on the light, you guys might have seen it got a little brighter in my room. Well, that's because my light is on now. So basically this thing sends a string of, of text that I have, it, I have this program to send a string of text to the Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module sends it to the microcontroller to be interpreted, and then there's basically some triax, or if you like the term solid state relay better, they're technically solid state relays. Well, they're, they're triax, but they're solid state relays. They go with both names. So that's kind of this project here, and it's trying to go to sleep on me. That's kind of the project here. You guys can see I can turn it on and off, you know, and then I could obviously turn the fan off if I wanted to. So now the fan turned off. Obviously it's still spinning because it has that still energy, blah, blah, blah. But I might be able to slow it down. Uh, dusty up there. 
So now I slowed it down a little bit, and then you guys can see that if I hit the fan button again, it starts spinning, so it, it turns it on. So this is kind of, like I said, just my own little home, home automation project that I did. Very simple, like nothing to it at all. The hardest part was I handmade the PCB using uh, some etching techniques, and I actually that actually took me quite a while to do. That was the longest part. So... Anyways, that's kind of my idea, guys. You could do more with this box than just switching a fan or a light on and off. If you wanted to, you could hook it up to your kid's power strip for their uh, you know, TV and their Xbox and stuff like that, and you could switch that on and off if you had a lock on this thing uh, and you know everything was locked up. You could switch when, when they had that on and off. I might eventually make some improvements to this in the future by adding maybe a time feature to it when the light turns on or the fan turns on. If I make any of those updates, I'll, I'll let you guys know in the future. But anyways, that's kind of my project. And uh, if any of you guys are interested in this uh, thing, just like you don't, want, you don't want to necessarily build it on your own, maybe you want to buy it. If you're interested in buying this project or something, let me know. And I will actually uh, start building these and uh, sending them out to people that actually want to buy them. So if you actually are interested in maybe purchasing one of these, they're not going to be very expensive and I'm sure I can make them a lot cheaper and sell them a lot cheaper than some of the devices you're going to find on the market. So if you're interested in that, uh, leave a comment below, you know, and I will uh, definitely respond back to you and tell you, hey, you know, I can build that for you. This is what it's going to cost. And then eventually what I might do is I might put it up on a on my website and or uh, on our uh, sales tab and actually allow you guys to purchase them on my website if you're interested obviously in buying this stuff anyways that's all I have for you guys for this video pretty awesome project I think um, like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video whether it be a tutorial or another uh, kind of demonstration on a project thanks guys